And Mel Le Green? Yes. Okay, I'm uh, Melody, yes. but we say Mel. Of course. Yes. I mean, yeah. We, <laughs> listen, we are nicknamed people I've, my whole life. So, Mel, I'm glad you're here. Thank you for having uh, me. You're welcome. Kent, tell me, Rumble, uh, Rumble on the Range? Yes. Rumble on the Range. I see your shirt. Very, very cool. This is something that I feel like is a little bit new. Y'all have done it a couple, several years. But, I mean, I feel like with the Elks Lodge, it's kind of a new thing that y'all have introduced to the Panhandle. Well, we we started a long time, a, a, okay. a back run a long time ago. Okay, okay. And uh, Mel's been in charge of it for five couple, years. Okay, five, five years. years. That's so five there. years. Mm -hmm. I mean, and, and listen, I had to go through COVID, and something yes. happened to my memory, Mel. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's what they were But I mean, running. five years. I mean, I feel like with, um, and I say new because I know the Elks Lodge has their usual things, yes. but I think adding this. There's a big need for it. I mean, yes. I think that y'all have a lot of people that love uh, motorcycles and, and getting together and, and getting on the range. Yes. So yes. how do we do it? And does it go far away? Yes, it's actually over 200 miles. So Dang. We, yeah, it's about 247, I think. But okay. we start at trips, first bike out at 9. And then we go to Pork and Things. It's going to be our first stop. We're getting them involved Fun. this year. Um, and and, and did they used to be the old outlaws? Yes. Okay. Okay. So yes. maybe way far on uh, East Third. Yes. Maybe. Okay. Yes. About uh, Pullman mm -hmm. kind of. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then we go to Clarendon, Turkey, Kittaquay, and Lookout, and then we end at the Lodge. Cool. Yes. Hey, listen, I love that area. People think, oh, you know, the Panhandle's so pretty, but that's really the pretty part, I mm -hmm. think, it is. of the it's Panhandle. A, it's awesome. Oh yeah. It's a yeah. It's how many? How many people usually participate? We, the most we've had was 247 bikes. Okay, that's a lot. Yes. That is a lot. It's, it, it, yeah. it's a lot. I hope, I want, I hope, but you're, you're saying there's room for more. We oh, want more people to come and participate. Mm -hmm. That is correct. How does it help uh, our area and, and the, el the work that the Elks do, Kent? Well, this, uh, this is, a, Mel is also our sweetheart, and every lodge yeah. in the state of Texas has a sweetheart, and they're over our kids' programs. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, we have a children's camp that uh, that we support. It's down in Octane, Texas, for special needs kids, Sweet. and we spend send about 300 kids a year to that free of charge. Mm -hmm. um, we pay for the transportation, and everything to that. We also helps with our grants here in our community with special needs kids here, and uh, we spend probably uh, just here in the Amarillo Lodge anywhere from 35 to 45 thousand a year. Uh, helping special needs kids right here. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah. That is a lot. Yeah. And, I mean, and, that's and a Mel's big... in charge of raising the money for this yes. year for that. Mel, this is a big, this is a big, <laughs> a big need. Yes. And, and so tell me about families. I mean, whenever you say, hey, we want to help your child. We want to help you. I mean, they're really, it takes a lot off of a parent yes. whenever they're like, what do you mean my, my child can go to camp? Because mm -hmm. we know parents with children with disabilities, there's a lot there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of yes. hours that we don't even think about, a lot of situations we don't think about. So right. that has to be a big, sweet, seeing that smile with takes families. A, takes a lot off their shoulders that way. Because yeah. we, have, we have medical staff you know, on site, we have counselors on site, and they take, they take care of take Where's care that of them. close to, Kent? Where's that little town? Is it little? Gonzales. Gonzales. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. It's hot down <laughs> little, there. It is very yeah, hot. A little south of uh, San Antonio. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. And so y'all pay for uh, the travel and the, the mm -hmm. time. We How do. long do they usually stay? A week. About a week. Oh, my yeah. gosh. So as the sweetheart, and I love it. Don't you love being called the sweetheart? Yes. <laughs> yes, she's it's a sweetheart. Nice. I love that. So, Mel, what do we want people to know? We, we want you to come back and really maybe to, and us find y'all and talk more about it. But right now, we need people to get registered. Do we need sponsors? What do we need people to do at this date? Um, we're still needing sponsors and auction items. We do have a silent auction. Um, anything, anything helps. Anything. Okay. How can we get a hold of you? And how, um, and how, if we need more info too? I mean, people really probably want to discuss it with right. you. Um, we're on Facebook, and my number is actually on there, so they can call. Um, we're having a pre registration August 5th at Pork and Things. I'm talking good a lot about him because he's actually going to donate the food for us too. Listen, so. that's a big deal, and that's yeah. some good folks that, yes. that really put their time mm -hmm. in uh, and feeding people. I mean, that's no little task. Right. And uh, over 200, 250 people, <laughs> right. that's a lot. Um, 
Well, we're excited. We, we want to come and see and maybe see some bikes and maybe see some oh, wow. uh, elks. Uh, Kent, I have to brag, Clyde Street, if you know where <laughs> Clyde Street is, you see that beautiful elk. And yes. uh, how many in our Elks Lodge in Amarillo? Uh, close to 600. 600. Dang. What, what made you do this? What made you say, I, I want to be in the Elks Lodge? Well, I've been actually going in there for 20 years, but I finally became a member four years ago. Uh, Dallas was the ER, and that's why, I mean, if I wanted to do anything, I needed to become a member. Sure. Yeah. Well, what about people, if they hear this and see this, not only do they want to participate, but what if they want to know more about being an elk? Yeah. Uh, they can get a hold of, uh, they can come by the Elks Lodge, mm -hmm. uh, open at three daily, and there's information, anybody that, that uh, they can ask any member there. They can give me a call at 806-683-4981. They can also go to elks.org and get information on, uh, on how to become an elk. It's real easy. It's just a small uh, application. And then, sure. mm -hmm. and then we give you an indoctrination. Actually, we had an indoctrination uh, for probably 14 17. people. Oh, 17 good. people. 17 yesterday. Last, last mm -hmm. night, and they will be initiated tonight. Mm -hmm. That's so. good. Yes. Well, listen, being an elk, and I'm telling you, my dad, long, long time, uh, Elks Lodge. And I remember, um, this was in Ockletree County, but also we lived in Borger. And I remember when they built the Elks Lodge okay. in Borger, and I was like, what's the Elks Lodge? <laughs> like, it was so fun. So I just know the, the commitment and how it really believes yes. and helps families. So I'm proud of y'all. Thank you. Y'all could be yeah. doing anything. <laughs> yes. And you're, you're helping kids and families. Special so. needs kids, yes. Yeah. It's I'm a big deal. I'm proud of y'all for that, so thank, thank you. you. Let's get together uh, in a couple of weeks and, yep. and yep. talk more. I'm perfectly fine with that. Thank Alrighty. you for having us. Thank you for always, having us. Always, <laughs> I'm glad you came. Thank you. Um,